Today I was going to talk about my luck I've had with the Sargent and Greenleaf uh, combination style paddle locks. This one here is the 8088 and a uh, really neat, really heavy lock. Uh, just to show you a comparison to a master, um, this is a more standard common lock that you see. Um, it's a lot bigger and uh, a lot heavier. So if you ever get a chance to get one of these or play with one of these, definitely take it because they're really fun uh, to, to, to mess around with. Um, I bought this for $16 on Etsy. Uh, I think that was, I think there might have been $5 shipping or something like that. But I, the, the, the auction, or not the auction, the, the site that was selling it said that there was no combination for it. They did not have the combination for it. So I thought, you know, uh, I would just buy it and then, you know, put it by my lazy boy and just try to enter three numbers every once in a while and see if I could get it open, you know, and just, just kind of use it as a, as a time killer or something like that. And, you know, just try to, try to get into it somehow without hurting it or anything like that. And, um, I did some research after I ordered it and I saw that. The default combination on Sergeant Greenleaf's website was 25 and then zero. And I looked at a number of different combination locks. They make uh, everything from these paddle locks on up to uh, like uh, safe combination locks. So it's a very secure paddle lock made by a company that knows what they're doing. And um, so I, I did some research and I found the one that came after this, the 8077, I believe, it, its combination uh, default from the factory is you, you go to 25 and then back to zero. And that's how you get, that's how you get it open. So I couldn't find anything on their website specifically, but, but uh, on, based on the information, what I found, I just, I figured that was the, the uh, default combination for it. So when I got it, I went ahead and, uh, scrambled up the dials like you do with these combination locks and um, with these you have to be super duper precise you can't you can't uh, be off a little bit kind of like those masters where you can kind of kind of hit the number you know so I went to 25 right on the nose and then I went to zero and it did not open would not open so that didn't work. So I just assumed that, you know, this was a lock somebody used or something like that. And they uh, changed the combination and I'll just have to sit there and keep trying to guess it or, you know, trying to, you know, feel for uh, the gates and all that kind of stuff. So uh, one night while I was, you know, doing research on this or actually just sitting around watching YouTube videos about locksmithing and lock picking, I came across a video by a gentleman named Alex Blate. And he did a review of this, and it's really informative. If you get a chance, uh, it's in my liked videos, so check out that that section of my channel and uh, take a look. It's by Alex Blate, and it's about the Sergeant and Greenleaf 8088. And he does a really good job explaining everything about these, how um, the locking mechanism in these rival, you know, a lot of safes and things like that, much better than the master locks. And another thing uh, he said was that really stuck out in my mind was this. The lock was set to the default combination, which was 10, 20, 30, 0. And that kind of made a light bulb go off in my head. And I was like, I've never tried that before. I've never heard that that was a default combination. And um, I, I, I've i watched a lot of his videos, so I knew that he knew what he was talking about. So I immediately went and got my uh, Sergeant Greenleaf 8088 out and uh, started clearing out the dials. And so... Uh, went left a bunch of times. That's kind of how you clear those out. Uh, left a bunch of times to 10. And you got to stop right on the dot. Okay. And then we're going to go right three times to 30. Tech, or excuse me, 20. Technically, you go left four times to 10. So there's two. Three times to 20. So technically, you go right four times to 10 or excuse me, left four times to 10, right three times 20, and then back left twice to 30. So we're gonna skip it that time, there's our one. And we're gonna come back and hit it right on the nose, because like I said, these things are 
so well built that you just got to be so precise with them. So now we hit 30 on the nose, and then you go back right to zero. And that's what his video said was the combination, the default combination to this. And when I put that in, it opened right up. So <laughs> I guess uh, um, now I have an 8088 with combination, uh, which I believe it increases the value of the lock quite a bit. Now I can get in there with my change. Well, actually, I don't have the change tool to it, but uh, if if someone did have one, they could get in there and go through all the steps. I'm not going to attempt to change the the combination on this just because there's a lot of hoops you got to jump through, and if you screw it up, I mean your your lock is going to be basically uh, toast. You're not going to be able to open it very easily. <laughs> You're going to have to try to crack it or something like that. But anyhow, um, the default combination worked for this one, and I got it right open. And uh, I want to say thanks to Alex for posting that video. And like I said, if you get a chance, check it out because he goes into a lot more depth on these. And um, so anyhow, I, I had really good luck with this lock. And there was a the newer version of this for sale. It was twenty five dollars, I believe it was thirty two dollars shipped. And I thought, you know, why not take a shot in the dark and see if the default combination worked. And so after this worked, I needed a new challenge. So I went ahead and bought this eight oh seven seven. It's eight oh seven seven Sergeant Greenleaf. Um, this was also made for the U.S. government um, to secure things. They wanted secured really well. And just to, as comparison to the master lock. This one's quite a bit larger, simply for the fact that it has that chrome housing. I'm not sure if there's anything else, but yeah, just to show you size difference between the three, um, this is just your standard master combination lock. Um, but anyhow, this lock here is the one that they currently sell, or the model, I guess this is probably an older one, but the model 8077 is the one they currently sell. and. There's a instruction manual for this on Sergeant Greenleaf's website that you can. It's a PDF version that you can download, and that one specifically says the default combination from the factory for this lock is 25 left, or excuse me, uh, yeah, left a bunch of times to 25, basically four times to 25, and then back to zero, and then you should be able to pull on and open it. So with the luck I had with this one, I got really excited. And I remember uh, when I got this lock, finally in the mail, I actually just ripped it open by the mailbox and had to try it because I wanted to see if it worked. So I got it out and I, I noticed it was a little stickier than, uh, than this one was. I just figured it might be a little bit older, but anyhow, I went to, I just kind of spun it and spun it and spun it to clear it out. And then I stopped dead on 25. All right, and then maybe a little bit more. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so there's dead on 25, and then I went back to zero. I pulled on it, and it opened. <laughs> Actually, the first time I pulled on it, this has loosened up quite a bit, but uh, going back, the first time I pulled on it, it didn't open. So I was kind of disappointed. Um, but I, like I said, this was kind of gunky in here, and, and the locking mechanism wasn't as loose as it normally is. But it didn't open the first time, and I and I kind of got disappointed. And I thought, well, this one I can just set by my lazy boy and and try three numbers and uh, try to get that combination in there so I can get it open. And like I said, it it, it uh, increases the value quite a bit when they have the combination form. So, um, but yeah, like I said, it didn't open the first time, but uh, I kept. You know, I, I just, just, I don't know why, I just had a gut feeling, so I kept trying it and trying it, and then finally, I had to pull up as hard as the dickens to get this thing open, and, and, um, by the, and when I did, it just popped open, and boy, that was an exciting moment. So now, I have, for a combined total of, I think, less than $50, I'd say, um, I have an 8088 and an 8077, Sergeant and Greenleaf combination style padlock with the combinations. The only downfall is, is I don't have the change key for this for either one of them. And I'm not sure if this one takes one. I can't find anywhere that that would go in. I think this might have something to do with it. But, you know, nonetheless, I'm probably not going to change the combination on this. Um, if you want to see what the inside of these look like, uh, there's a gentleman by the name, or his, his YouTube username is Locksmith Army, and I, a lot of you have probably heard of him. He does really good videos, but uh, apparently got his hands on one of these, 
and it didn't open for whatever reason. So he he uh, made a way to slide off the back, and you can see all those wheels in there, and you can see how uh, how precise they are, and you can see the locking mechanism. Like like these masters, they just have a couple locking poles uh, on them, or actually one on one side. Most of them do just have one on one side, but this one has. Um, this thing, it looks like a, like a, I would call it like a butterfly contraption. Like I said, check out that video and it's in my liked videos also. It's by Locksmith Army and it's the 8077 cutaway. But, um, anyhow, uh, the, the precision and the craftsmanship that goes into one of these locks, you know, you can, you can tell by, you know, just the sheer weight of it, you know, versus, versus this lock that they're just really heavy duty and, um, a really cool lock. So, um, I guess the moral to this story is, uh, when you, when you, ha when you see one of these for sale at like a yard sale or an antique store, um, you know, maybe you can try the default combination and it'll work. And I guess the moral of that story is, is make sure you know the default combination. <laughs> that's, that's the trouble I ran into. Cause like I said, I thought all hope was lost with this one until I saw Alex's video on, um, on uh, the one he did on this and when he said that the default combination was 10 20 30 uh, I tried it and make sure you know uh, you know how the how, make sure you do some research on how the dial spin because like I said it goes left four times to the first number right three times to the second number and then left uh, twice I can just dial it in real fast so we're gonna go left so four times, so I've been spinning it several, several times, but technically it's four times. So we'll go four times to 10 and we'll go, and it's gotta be really precise. We're gonna go back uh, three times to 20. One, two, three, and then we're gonna go back twice to 30. So we're gonna skip it that time. We're going to hit it right on the nose, and then we're going to come back to 30. Or, excuse me, zero. And if I did that right, it should open. So it's uh, four left, three right, four, uh, two left, and then uh, back to zero. And this one is just 25, zero. So, um, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, you know, if you're going to try to open one of these, make sure it's yours or you have permission from the owner. And um, don't use this information for anything illegal. And um, have fun with these. And, and hopefully, you know, you can get your hands on one of these because they're, they're really fun to play with. So thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to go now.